Uh, my name is Seren. If you were not at listening to the previous production hell segment, this is my actual hell segment. This is a new production. I'm joined, I'm joined today by Neil Ronahan. Hi, I'm playing on my phone because Windows Update is the worst. Uh, hopefully everyone can understand that. Uh, John Lindemann. It's great to be here. And Greg Leahy. Hello again. As the three uh, competitors. Uh, and okay, looks like everything is going work, working on YouTube. And with me as scorekeeper, James Jones. Oh, just actually just speak. No, I, I was I was holding the eraser so I could move. Oh. Hi. Hi. Okay. Eraser videos bad. Videos up. Everything looks good. This is great. Okay. You're off with them segment. Okay. Uh, everyone ready for the first Jeopardy board? Yes. Okay. I will say, um, and I'll say this between boards as well. We have two boards. The keyword for this segment. Everyone's typing loudly. Okay, the keyword for this segment is syndicated. Uh, past tense. Well done, <laughs> that is that is the keyword for um, okay for segment six. Ready, guys? Sure. Here's the board. Your categories are war stories from Mr. Diamond J, mm -hmm. OST DLC, and we. Entirely Surrend's Bullshit, Queerness and Nintendo, and E3 20XDX. John, you have control of the board to start. I will take War Stories from Mr. Diamond J for 100, please. Okay. Clue. The microtransaction currency used in online multiplayer. Okay. And no one's buzzing in. Three, two, one. Eh, eh. The correct answer is, what are golden eggs? Okay, John, you still have John, you still have control of the board. <laughs> All right, I will take entirely. I will take entirely Seren's bullshit because for one hundred because apparently I do not know my own war stories. Okay, don't get topsy turvy. This game infamously featured an underground city designed to confuse visitors. Oh, boy. Uh, Still no one buzzing in. <laughs> Three. Maybe we should explain oh, what the category typing? Greg. No, uh, no. That's what, what is uh, Professor Lighting in the Unwind Future? Correct, for 100 points. There you go. Um, also accepted would be Lost Future. Yeah, which is actually correct in my region, but I like Unwind better. Yes, okay. <laughs> we, fought, we have points on the board. Greg at 100 and control of the board. Okay, uh, let's go OST, DLC, and Wii for 100. Okay. The name of Nintendo's DLC service on Wii. Oh, God, the red dot. <laughs> Should have buzzed yeah. in, y'all. Uh, it looks like Neil's trying to buzz in, but he hasn't yet. Um, right. Do you want to buzz in, Neil? Yeah, yeah I'm doing it. Um, okay, Neil. <laughs> I, I I'm gonna I'm gonna in the form of a question. What is Nintendo download service? Incorrect. Minus one hundred. John. We connect twenty four. Not a question and not what? the right answer. Ah. Minus a hundred. Greg, want to buzz in? Oh, I'm gonna have to pass. I could picture the red dot, but what what the text that went with it. That, what is Nintendo Pay and Play? Oh, oh God. I actually God. had that one, you guys. Come on. That was that was the 100. Okay. Uh, um, Greg, you still have control of the board. <laughs> Forever. Um, I will go with uh, Queerness and Nintendo for 100. Okay. This Nintendo 3DS game was caught in a controversy due to an apparent bug in the Japanese version of the game. Greg. Tomodachi Collection, Tomodachi Life. In the form of a question? What is Tomodachi Collection slash Tomodachi Life? That is correct for 100 points. 
Greg retains control of the board. Um, let's go Queen S and Nintendo for 200. Okay. This collection of games introduces two player sexual romanceable characters, the first in the series. Neil. What is Fire Emblem Fates? That is correct for 200 points. And control the board. I'll do Score three. update. Oh, yes. Control, score update. That's five questions. <laughs> score update. Greg sits in a commanding lead of 100 points. Neil just, is in second second uh, yeah. place with 100 points. John is a, is a fashionably late minus 100 points. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Neil, control the board. Um, let's do the, uh, the OST DLC and Wii for 200. Okay. This WiiWare title allowed for owners to send versions of the game to other players for the purpose of playing online. This WiiWare title allowed for owners to send versions of the game to other players for the purposes of playing online. Neil. What is Maboshi's Arcade? That is incorrect for 200. That was, that was sending to the DS. Uh, okay. That was sending to the DS. Uh, okay. I was like, I knew that sent somewhere, but I don't remember if that had online or not. I don't think it did. Greg. What is WarioWare DIY Showcase? That is incorrect for 200. John, do you want to buzz in? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the correct answer is what is Dr. Mario Online RX? Ah. The only winning move is not to play, John. <laughs> okay, Neil, you still have control the board. Uh, let's go 300, same category. Okay, daily double. Oh, good. Um, so, do, do, so you do, have, do. How much do you you have? have a negative 100 to bet. So no, you have um, to 1,000. Through it. Let's go big. I'm going 1,000. Okay. So <laughs> this, is no, only, this, this one is only for Neil. The branding of Rock Band's supplemental music tracks on Wii due to the limitations of the DLC feature. Mm. This is only for Neil. The um, branding of Rock Band's supplemental music tracks on Wii. What is add-on content? That is incorrect for a thousand. <laughs> what are Rock Band track packs? Oh, yeah. I know. Jo John's strategy holding water right now. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Strike. But don't worry, you still have control of the board. You can get back. Um, let's go 400, same category. Okay. That was oh, the only daily double on this going. board, by the way. The exact cost of all of Lon Poss's DLC and weak points. I told you the 400s and 500s were a lot. Uh, that's so stupid. <laughs> oh, look, I don't see anyone. Oh, Greg was. No, Greg, that wasn't. That was the last question. No one's buzzing in. Three. <laughs> Two figure. One. What? Oh, S sorry. Too late, John. If you didn't uh, see that. That's... Snap. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. I think you saw that. So what is 2,700 Wii points? Whoops. Um, accidentally showed the next question. You can you can have that if you caught that. Uh, Neil, control the board. Um, let's just, let's kill this category. I gotta see what this 500 is. Okay. The first oh, soundtrack geez. CD to be offered by Japanese club Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> the first soundtrack CD. You don't have to buzz in. Um, I don't I'm worry, curious. I'm not. <laughs> I'm curious if you know this. Three, two, one. What is Nintendo Sound Selection Volume One Peach Healing Music? Okay, yeah, Dever <laughs> was gonna get that. Nope. Okay, Neil, still control the board. Um, <laughs> Wait, no, it's I it's I, for a score update. Give, like, give, no, give me, give me, give me, a, give me a score, a score moment here. Yeah, I'm gonna. All right, so currently in the lead, it is Greg with no points. Yes. Uh, <laughs> sitting around in second place is John, who's only ever buzzed in once with <laughs> minus 100 points. Yes. In third place, it is Neil with a commanding. Negative eleven hundred points. <laughs> that final, that double, uh, daily double really fucked you up. Okay, yeah, John, thank you I, for I keeping me from having place. to log more. John, I would like to say to log more that sports. I still have control of the board. So you let's do. go one hundred E three twenty XDX. 
okay, I think this is going to be a legitimately very manageable category for everyone in this um, call. Please prove me wrong. <laughs> Wait, the what? first year that Nintendo did not hold a traditional E3 press conference. Neil. What is E3 2013? That is correct for 100. Uh, same category. Next one. The first year that Nintendo revealed both a console 2D Mario and a console 3D Mario. Neil. What is E3 2009? That is correct. Ooh. Next, next uh, question. Same, same category. Next question. The hilarious E3 presentation headlined by Pac-Man Versus. Greg. What is E3 2003? That is correct for 300. Greg, control the board. Uh, uh, give me entirely Seren's bullshit for 200, please. Will do. These two overlooked gems were created in collaboration with the Japanese music company Avex. Oh. Like, I know this is your bullshit, and I, I just don't have an answer. <laughs> going once. Going twice. I know this what one. are Tokyo Mirage Sessions, Sharp FE, and Style Savvy Styling Star? Of course, Style Savvy Styling Star. Yeah, if it'd been one overlooked gem, that would yeah. have been my guess. <laughs> yeah, I, I they were both overlooked. Over yeah, though I don't disagree with that. Seth. So, so the the fear here is that was one of the ones I thought y'all might get. Yeah, <laughs> uh, that's why I was thinking I'd pick that the two hundred rather than like the subsequent ones. I'd do it now. Yeah. But I mean, I there's a lot back. of. No one's really gone back to war stories for Mr. Diamond J. <laughs> <laughs> That's like exclusively the reserved for John. I don't, I don't feel comfortable picking from that. I, may, I, may, I may never get the, the. I may never get it back, Greg. I may never. So, get it back. Uh, <laughs> Greg, they you don't have know what the fucking segment is. Greg, you you have control of the board still. Okay, uh, so you've basically told me to do it. Uh, give me war stories from out of Mr. Diamond J for two hundred. <laughs> Will do. The protagonist's favorite instrument. This is this is probably the easiest. Neil. What is a uh, guitar? That is incorrect for 200. Come on, John, you should know this. Um, you can do it. Going once. Going twice. Uh, what is a John. turntable? That is incorrect for 200. God damn it. I'll just tell you what the category is now. Here we it's go. It's not actually about you, John. Okay, all what right. Are drums. The, uh, okay. It's drums. It's all Devil's Third. It's the Devil's Third category. Yeah, that's, uh, that's what uh, it was. But the problem is, I don't know anything about that guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's not a problem, sir. <laughs> that's, it's the that's Devil's Third no category. no way a problem. <laughs> it's Golden Eggs, and he plays the drums in prison. By the way, the questions for this don't get any easier, so... No, th that, that one was literally the easiest question, probably. The only thing I could have answered was about the Greg. terrorist video. That, that <laughs> Greg. I don't promise not. there's no questions about that. Yeah, all right, I've, I've got control of the board. You do. Uh, and uh, after this, we need a squad date. Yeah. Um, let's we... go Queerness and Nintendo for 300, please. Absolutely. This game features Nintendo's first canonical trans character. The references to this fact were removed from the English localiza localized version. Greg. Uh, what is uh, Super Mario Brothers 2? That is incorrect for 300. John. What is Doki Doki Panic? That is incorrect for 300. Same game. Same game. Yeah, it could, I it could have been that, either, but I didn't know answer. how specific you were. This, this question is, is evil. I'm going to come right this out and say it. This question is not evil. All right, I you know what? Either. I'm going to take the 300-point bump that I just got and let it go. Okay, you want to guess? No, no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> that was okay. what he was saying. No, oh, yeah, but, okay. yeah, they, they, it wasn't. Shaq it has it right. The correct answer is, what is Paper Mario the Thousand-Year Door? Oh, uh, oh never yeah. Would have I'm talking okay. canonical, as in talked about in-game. Vivian, the, the um, one yeah. of the Shadow Sirens yeah. that joins your party, in the Japanese version, is very explicitly labeled as a trans character. Oh, right. That's, and then it was removed. Yes. That's, that's, that's kind of, yeah, because they did talk about, in the English manual, they talked about the whole bird there thing. Yes. Didn't they? So, yeah, that, that was, I, I should have known that was not the answer. Yes. So, score update? I'm, I'm working on it. All right. 
So after doing some quick some quick math, mostly subtraction, um, current score in the lead, it is Greg at zero again. Zero is safety here. Um, close behind him is John at minus 600. <laughs> mm-hmm. Close behind him is Neil at minus 1,000. Yeah. It's all the daily devil. Ends. If I didn't do the daily devil, I'd be caught first. So shoot, does go. Uh, There's no escape. Uh, no so one is going to end this game in the positive. Greg, I see I still got control of the board you for do. some bloody reason. <laughs> um, let's go. And this is probably going to tilt things in Neil's favor, but we're going to go E3 uh, for 400. Okay. This E3 brought with it a bunch of staff members playing games on the internet throughout the show. Greg. Uh, What is E3 2016? That is incorrect for 400. Shit. Going once. John. What is E3 2015? That is incorrect for 400. God. Oh my gosh. I thought you were going to get it. Going once, for, going once for Neil. Uh, going no, I'm not guessing. Okay, what is E3 2014? Was the first year that Treehouse Live was? Oh, the it was that long ago. Oh, Good. Yeah, God. Oh, I can't believe it was that long ago. That was really long ago. I know. I I was surprised when I looked that one up. Okay, um, Greg, you have control of the board. Ah, oh, bloody hell! <laughs> uh, entirely surrender bullshit for 300. Absolutely. In this Japan-only Camelot-developed action RPG, players use the Wii remotes to spray blood all over their TV screens. Oh. Damn it. Going once. Mm. Going twice. No one answered. The correct answer is, what is Zengeki no Regan leave? Sorry, Greg. Ah, I couldn't think that, of that, that, that's, that's, that's not developed by Camelot. Yeah, it I is. Know. I thought it was sa- like sand- Sandlot. Sandlot. Or- oh, Sandlot. Sandlot. I'm sorry. Okay. No, no, we need a replacement yeah, question. Like- yeah, that, no, that, that's just- the, uh, the, 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 you know, the, what, what's, um, the Defense Force people. Yes, no, you're right. Very, yeah, you're right. That's a bad right. question. James, please give everyone 300 points. I messed up. I don't Yay. Know. It's not going to yes. change anyone's standings. I will it's- get points. <laughs> you're still negative, John, so. Yes, yeah. I made, All right, I made well, a after- mistake. After I'm, this man up from heaven, this. let me give a score update. Neil is in last place with minus 700 points. Uh, yeah. John Lindemann oh. is also in last place with minus 700 points. <laughs> Greg is in a commanding lead with minus 100 points. <laughs> okay. Um, this is what depression feels like. It's just. I mean, it did fit down. with the, um, the, the, the category entirely surrounds bullshit, right? Wow. Okay, Greg. Every time I think somebody's about to break zero, I feel bad again. Greg, yeah. same, que- same, same question. Come on, I'm going to tee John up here. War stories from uh, Mr. Diamond J. You know the gist of it now, John. So you've, for 300? Uh, yeah, for 300. A character that regards Ivan as both a father figure and a love interest, which is very creepy. That's my own. In the grand scheme of this game, eh. <laughs> Hmm. See, this is why everyone should donate, so that way we break our previous high, and then Donald has Going to play the third. Going twice. Can I give the answer? Uh-uh. Do you want to give the answer? It's C4. Yep. Yeah. Who is C4? Is this... <laughs> <laughs> the love, named the love interest slash daughter character C4. They wow. did. <laughs> Honestly... When I, I told you guys before we went on that there were 50 questions, 40 of which were in answerable categories. This category, I expected no one to get anything except for drums and golden eggs. But this is just showing off how stupid Devil's Third is at this point. Yeah, they were inanswerable as in inanswerable. OK, Greg. Yeah, control uh, the board is I, yours. I will have Queerness and Nintendo for 400, please. Absolutely. Uh, the preferred name of this ca- character known as Birdo, according to the North American Manual for Super Mario Bros. 2, Neil. What is Birdetta? 
That is correct for 400. I really I, hate giving the answer to a I couldn't say question. anything. <laughs> you said on Queerness and Nintendo 300, you were talking about Verdetta, or 200, you were talking about Verdetta. I'm sorry, I couldn't say anything. But that was, in fact, the 400 answer. Neil, you have control of the board. Um, do we still have anything else in E320 XDX? Yeah, we have 500. All right, let's roll. Okay. Oh, this E3, derided for its reliance on so-called booth babes, opened with a rather uncomfortable moment to Nintendo's show. Derided for its reliance on booth babes, opened with a rather uncomfortable moment to Nintendo's show. Greg. I haven't pressed enter yet because I want oh. to. <laughs> Sorry, it looks like you had. Neil. Uh, um, what is E3 2011? Uh, no, what is E3 2010? Judges will we accept 2010 as his answer? I got 11. I got all the way to 11. Okay. What is E3 2010? We'll accept, I'll accept it. Yeah. That is correct for 500. It's three DSs, isn't it? Yes, Tethered yeah. to 3DS is opened with then, Skyward Sword not working. Yeah, that was, I was thinking about it being an uncomfortable moment related to the booth fade, and then I was like, wait a minute. No, the 3DS here was when Skyward Sword didn't work, and Miyamoto looked like he was going to have a conniption. Yes. Okay, James, score update, please. I'm doing the math right now, which I actually have to do. Uh, so, as of right now, in last place is John Lindemann with minus 700 points, who has not buzzed in in, I believe, five questions at this point. So I'm um, biding my time, biding my time. If you hadn't buzzed in ever, you'd be, you'd be in uh, second place. Well, you'd have because a in, in second place is... Actually, you'd been first. Uh, in second place, Greg with minus 100. And Neil has made a commanding comeback to have a positive number of 200. Good job, Neil. That I don't anticipate was... that holding on. No, hey, well, probably not. So you continue to have control, Neil. So, I want to uh, point out, if somebody had fallen asleep at the start of the game, they would be winning right now. That's true. Yeah. Uh, queerness and Nintendo for 500. Okay. Nintendo's first gender queer character, courtesy of Monolith Soft. Yeah, you're probably not getting this one. I'm sorry. Going once. Going twice. Who is Guilo from Bat and Kaitos Origins? That was I the one I was thinking of when I said this. Yeah, I, there. I noticed, but I couldn't think of a character name. Exactly, I knew it was from Bat and Kaitos. Yep. Okay, Neil, control of the board is still yours. Um, uh, entirely Sermon's bullshit for, I think, 400 is available, yep. right? Yep. All right. Yeah. This FMV Nintendo 3DS game may be forgotten, but it sparked a lot of turned heads upon release. If you get this one, I'll be impressed. Going once. Going twice. What is Tokyo Crash Bombs? Ah, Maybe forgot. I, I was thinking more of a traditional, like, point-and-click FMV game. Not yeah, no. Bad, Remember, bad all of these are Nintendo-published games. Yeah. I, like, I'm still holding out hope for Tokyo Crash Bombs 2 to come out sometime on Switch. That'd be fun. And, and will never happen. Okay. Uh, let's do uh, 500 in that category. Okay. Install Savvy Styling Star, the name of the video service that Alinatron posts the video Fight for Your Style to. I'm pretty sure I edited a preview in which you talked about this, but I, I do not remember. <laughs> going once. Going twice. What is MewTube? Yep. <laughs> I'm just writing the word "I'm sad" over and over again. Okay, the there are you two. can see my face right now. Okay, yeah, I guess <laughs> let's, let's let's do war stories for 400. Okay, war stories for 400. The name of the terrorist force, the primary antagonists. <laughs> so as Neil is typing, I wonder if he's going to buzz in I on this. I assume it's just like the name of some other explosive or something. <laughs> uh, going once, going twice. What is the school of democracy? Yeah, no, that's the name. <laughs> and then the final strangely, clue. St hold on. Strangely, not Tomodobo Itagaki, despite his decision to do an ISIS video to promote his game. So, mm -hmm. okay. And the final question. The man who releases Ivan from Guantanamo Bay. <laughs> <laughs> 
Go on, one. It's so it's so ripped from the second. Going there. twice. <laughs> Who is Charles Carraway, a character whose name is said exactly one time in the entire game about 20 minutes in and then promptly forgotten about? <laughs> so as Big Wolf trans- sees this and says, this is a fantastic product. So as we transition to board number two, um, I would like to remind the audience that the uh, keyword is syndicated. And give it get a quick score update. So... First off, I want to give an update on the charity live stream. We are at $4,200 over our goal, but you can keep giving. Please keep giving. It is for a good cause. We will be here for hours still. John and I have a segment to do that will be worse than this, so you can give for that. Bold, or you can get to stop that. Bold promise. Oh, I, I you haven't seen what I've written down. Um, but <laughs> currently in last place, is our MVP of scoring, Mr. John Lindemann, who has yes. managed to mo- uh, most efficiently reach a score of negative 700 on a grand total of five buzzes. Yes. <laughs> it's impressive. Just as uh, planned. Also, uh, now in second place is Mr. Greg Leahy at minus 100. And Neil, who has somehow managed to find the light and hit 200 points out of a grand total of what? how many how many possible points were there on that board? A lot. Many uh, points. There were a lot. <laughs> thousands so and 300 300 points were given to everyone so technically speaking no one is in the positives <laughs> okay there is no, right now the, the phrase there is no hope is written under my scoring board okay and here we go real quick with second board the categories are censorship in a lot of scare quotes whoop whoop unlocalized localized names and third party so be, be very clear when you are naming your what category you want, because there's both unlocalized and localized names. Neil, you have control of the board. Um, let's go unlocalized for 200. OK. This Wii horror game was the first notable example of an on-console fan localization patch on Wii. Greg. A boy is Project Zero Four. I'll accept it. Um, that is literally listed as um, projects accepted. So, uh, two hundred and control the board. Woo! Yay! Uh, let's go unlocalized for four hundred. Okay. This Wii game features a group of unloved Nintendo characters, such as the Devil himself. Neil. What is Captain Rainbow? That is correct for four hundred and control the board. Um, let's do same category. Uh, the 600. Okay. This Chunsoft series saw three unlocalized releases on WiiWare, the only three to go unlocalized in the subseries. This Chunsoft series saw three unlocalized releases. Greg? A boy's mystery dungeon? Can you be more specific? Prompt? Uh, Going on. A boy's Pokemon mystery dungeon? Yes. Oh. For 600 and control of the board. It was either that or Chocobo. <laughs> if if you want to ride that, that Chocobo. Uh, let's see. Um, localized names for 200, please. Okay. The Japanese name of the Style Savvy franchise. Going once. Going twice. Neil. What is it, girls mode? That is correct for 200 and continued control of the board. 400, same category. Okay, daily double. (laughs) (laughs) All right, give me a score update and then I'll make my This is one of two. You have have 800 points to play with. You are currently in first. Greg is behind at 700. John is still, has not buzzed in in this entire board. (laughs) So how much does Neil have? (laughs) Neil has 800. Okay, you can bet up to a thousand. Uh, I'm gonna go a little more conservative, so that way I don't get the Lindemann level again. Uh, I'll go five. <laughs> okay, two thousand <laughs> for five hundred points. Exclusively, Neil's question: the North American title of the game released as both art style Nemrem and art style Somnium in other territories. What is the I North American both? name? Or, or is, okay, okay, that's what that, that's the same game. 
Yes, all, this is the same game, three different names. I'm looking, those are the European and Japanese names. I'm looking for the North American name of the game that is called Art Style Nemrem and Art Style Somnium in other territories. I'm not, I'll go, what is Art Style Rotozoa? That is incorrect for 500. The correct answer well, is, what is Art Style Zen ah, okay. yeah, That's one of the DSI uh, art yes. style yeah. games. No. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm all about those art style games. It's just that the DSi has been dead for almost a decade, so that memory ain't what it used to be. Um, Neil, you can keep going. Um, let's do localized names for 600. Okay. The North American title of the game released in Europe as Sight Training, Enjoy Exercising and Relaxing Your Eyes. Neil. What is Flash Focus? James, you want, full, you want the full name, don't you? I, I'm what? Should I take it? Ah, uh, come on, give it to him. It's good. It is. I'm asking defending. James. This is where the backup jug is. Jug yeah, is I guess I'm fine with it. Okay, that's right for 600. What is flash focus, vision training, and minutes a day? Uh, I knew it was something minutes a day. I wanted I to know. hear. I wanted to hear that stupid secondary title. <laughs> um, <laughs> it was. It was okay. it's, it was the try to really tie it to brain training, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember. Neil. I remember the day thing about that, but I don't remember what the yes. division was. Right. But all right, third party for two hundred. That is the final daily double. You have nailed yeah, every single points. daily double. How many points? Um, what's what's my lead above Greg right now? Two hundred. I'll just uh, I'll do I'll do four hundred. Okay, for four hundred points. 8.5 out of 10. <laughs> what is the conduit? I'm sorry, what was that? What is the conduit? That is correct for, two, for 400 <laughs> points. <laughs> that was, I was hoping John oh. would get that one. Oh, well done. No. John's got to buzz in to get to answer a question. That's a question, yeah. especially the um, Daily Doubles. So that, that was the other Daily Double. There are no more on the board. Uh, Neil. Four, 400 third party. Okay. This Wii U ex exclusive action platformer was achieved with CryEngine, much to the mockery of the game's press. This Wii U exclusive action platformer, Neil. What is Sonic Boom? I'm, I'm gonna need more specific. Um, God. Sonic Boom, The Rise of Lyric? I'll take it, yes. What is Sonic Boom, Rise of Lyric? There are three games that open with Sonic Boom in the yeah, name. So. Uh, that's fair, that's fair. Um, okay. Same category, 600. This 2013 JRPG saw an early game twist where you descended to Earth and realized that you were considered an angel. This 2013 JRPG. Going once. <laughs> Matthew, you're not playing. <laughs> Going once. I don't like... I don't like where this is going. Going twice? The correct answer is, what is Shin Megami Tensei 4? Ah, damn it. Continue to control the board is yours, Neil. I know you would have gotten it, Matthew. You're also not flying. Uh, I would have gotten it. I would have gotten all these questions. <laughs> <laughs> You've seen the ball. So, uh, third party, 800. Okay. This Nintendo DS game infamously has a bad ending that states, the miracle never happened. Stop buzzing in, Matthew. <laughs> going once. Wow, going twice. What is Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Justice for All? Ah, uh, you do. Okay, continue to control the board is yours, Neil. Um, censorship for 200. Okay. The, this collection of Nintendo 3DS games saw the removal of a face-petting minigame and changes to a magic drug side story. Neil. What is Fire Emblem Faith? That is correct. Uh, 400, next, uh, same category. This Wii U RPG saw the ages of several characters change, a significant change to its second chapter, and the removal of a certain type of bones. Neil. What is Tokyo Mirage Sessions? Sharp FE. That is correct for 400. 
We need some other scoring here, guys. Come on, let's go, let's go. <laughs> he beat me to the buzzer on some of these. So I I, yeah, I can't. Well. I was Most told not to. Haven't played, so. I was told not to say what type of bones. No, no don't, don't uh, literally uh, go uh, and uh, say uh, what you're told. Oh, to this say. was the question. This is why you asked about that. No, I was actually going to name the category that. Censorship. <laughs> I was Censorship gonna... um, storylines, I imagine, probably do very well on Twitter. I'm at a disadvantage here. What's your excuse, John? <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. That's enough sniping. Don't don't make me Mario Party this and just give random points. <laughs> James, we need I will. Update. 2300, 700, minus 700. John, for the love of God, buzz in. <laughs> okay. Um, Neil. Um, <laughs> John, <laughs> buzz in with a question. Uh, Make him answer it. Same category, 600. Okay. This open world RPG saw the removal of a character customization option and changes to some costumes for an underage girl, Greg. Damn it. What is Xenoblade X? I will take that, yes. Zedabay Chronicles X? Yes, I'll take that. Localized version? Yes. John, that was one that you legitimately could have gotten. Uh, yeah. I was... <laughs> so that was 600 to Greg. He was busy not caring. <laughs> Greg, control the board, it's yours. Um, it's I'm probably going to regret this, but the, uh, give me whatever whoop whoop is. <laughs> <laughs> For what? For 200, naturally. I'm going to dip my toe in. The two types of the best Pokemon, Whooper. John. Whooper. That's <laughs> not a question for an answer. <laughs> uh, I don't know, water and grass. Uh, that is incorrect for 200, Neil. <laughs> what is water and normal? That is incorrect for 200. Greg, you want to take a shot at this? I, I don't. Oh, I don't shit, know. I know what it is. Okay. What are water and ground? Uh, yeah. I don't know. What are water Fuck and ground? <laughs> so, <laughs> Greg, continue to control the board is yours. Um, I don't know much about whoop. <laughs> uh, let's go unlocalized for 800, please. Okay. This wonderful Nintendo DS tactical RPG designed by Hironobu Sakaguchi has recently seen a resurgence of attention thanks to a spirit in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Neil. What is Silverbringer? That is incorrect for 800. Oh, oh, damn it, I know what oh, it is. That, that was the best that was a I had as well. <laughs> Going once. Going twice. Can I, can I say it if no one else gets it? Because I know but said the Sure, point what is it? No point. Um, what is Ar it? Archaic Sealed Heat. That is correct. What is Ash Archaic oh, Sealed Heat? Well, give me one second to do a score update. Sure. All right. Well, now we have a real three-way hot game going here. <laughs> I'm sure. In, in, in a very, very close game, John is in third place with minus 900. Mm. I feel like at this point I could just say whatever number and people would be like, yeah, that's probably true. <laughs> uh, <laughs> tied for first, Greg and Neil are both sitting at 1,300. Ooh, very positive scores. Ooh, okay. uh, Greg, I believe I'm auto buzzing John in for the next question. Okay, uh, let's take localized names for 800, please. Okay, the European name of the Touch Generations title for Nintendo DS that came with two pedometers. Greg, I'm gonna regret this because I'll probably say the wrong one. But is it Personal Trainer Walking? That is incorrect for 800. Oh, that's the American name, isn't that's it? That's the American yeah. name. <laughs> I, was, I, I was just thinking, I was like, of course, the European's going to get the right name. And then. No, I've been. But, but you know how much I'm Going once. Walking trainer, train pills. your walks with minutes a day. No. What is walk with me? Do you know your walking routine? Uh, okay. Yeah, I mean. Legitimate yeah. question. To be fair, yeah. it's a lot more than. <laughs> is it, John? <laughs> <laughs> America's I would first. have accepted Walk With Me. I did not need the subtitle for that. Because America's uh, at the first train, I think, because personal trainer cooking was yep. the right cooking Navi or cooking God. I, uh, I, I played personal trainer. Well, I guess I, I had the pedometer from personal trainer walking on my person for like a month. 
Um, and I would periodically like, and then it'd be like, oh, you, you walked this monument or whatever it did. Yeah, I forget. So are you long. telling me, you know, your walking score. I do know my walking score. But you need Not to hurry up a little bit, Greg. All right, let's go. Okay. Uh, let's go unlocalized for a thousand, please. Absolutely. This 2006 GBA game featuring American football was made possible thanks to Nintendo taking the licensing rights from Konami. That if, if this was meant to be one, I, can, I ain't got it. What is Tecmo Bowl kickoff? That is incorrect for a thousand. And that's a DS game. Ah, damn it. This 2006 and, GBA game. All right. I mean, that's really late for a GBA game. It is. I mean, what's going on there? I have this going twice. I love the answer to this. What is iShield 21 Devil Bats Devil Days? Wow. What, yeah. is what is that? That's a really good question. I, so I actually <laughs> got that question right. That's one that James that? got right. And Donald in the chat got it right. iShield 21 is an anime about American uh, yeah. club football. I remember this in, game. In Japan. And that. so, yes, Konami had the iShield 21 license, and then they lost it, and Nintendo picked it up from Konami. For some reason. Like, uh, for some and released reason, a 2006 says, oh, okay. Japanese only GBA game about American football based on this licensed anime. All right. That, that is score, very much a thing that exists. Score updates, real quick. John has not buzzed in for a while. He's still at minus 900. Neil just completely sunk his own battleship at 300. And Greg is now sitting pretty with a, uh, I guess we'll call it efficient 500. Unassailable lead, just complete. So we have just been given the heads up that we can be a couple minutes, a couple minutes long. So yeah, time to make my move. Great. Uh, no, it is. It, yes, John, it is exactly time to make your move. Okay. Uh, that that's still Greg. Yep. Okay. Let's go back to the whoop whoop for four hundred. <laughs> Hell yeah! Back to the whoop I'm just whoop. Go ahead and start deducting points now. The typical height of the best Pokemon whooper accepted within one inch. Should have studied up on Wooper. Going what? John. <laughs> 52 inches. Have you not been listening to the game? Can you please ask it in the form of a question? <laughs> what is 52 inches? You are wrong for 400. Yeah. <laughs> off you are. This is what that, is. <laughs> that is so far off. I'm really shocked that you guys didn't study up on your Wooper. I thought that I like the idea that Wooper is like four foot tall and just wanders <laughs> behind people. Okay, the correct answer is one foot four inches, accepted within one inch. <laughs> Greg, control the board. Okay, let's go censorship for 800, please. Bowser will no longer drink champagne in the Western version of this game, opting instead to hold it upright. Bowser will no longer drink champagne in the Western version of this game. Me right now. Greg, uh, what is Super Mario Kart? That is correct for 800. Whoa! Control, continue to control the board. Right. Greg, it was a good, it was a good game. <laughs> so literally right now, Greg just needs to not buzz in anymore. Yeah, it's it's kind <laughs> of a flawed strategy. Uh, when you're not actually playing for cash, there's no incentive. Um, what? Uh, let's go to localized names for a thousand. Okay. The original Japanese name of the game released in Europe as Magic Made Fun Perform Tricks That Will Amaze Your Friends. Are you glad I didn't make you guess the European name? Uh, yes, uh, although I do appreciate your um, you know, sort of uh, working those in on such a level. <laughs> it was a wonderful period in Nintendo history. <laughs> sort of the original fun. Japanese name. Does anyone know this? Is it it's in there phrase? somewhere. I do, the, I do know this somewhere, but I'm sure as shit not going to risk actually. Yeah. If it was the American name, I, I, I'm blanking on the American name, and there's no way I'd get it. I'll give you a hint. The American name is Master of Illusion. Yeah, yeah, no, that's Going that, once, okay. going twice. What is Magic Encyclopedia? <laughs> <laughs> they took Magic Encyclopedia and localized it as Magic Made Fun Perform Tricks That Will Amaze Your Friends. Thank you, Europe. <laughs> Uh, that uh, sounds like a 1980. The era of descriptive subtitles, so I'll, I'll never forget it. Okay, that sounds like a 1980s like VHS tape star starring Malcolm Jamal Warner to tell you to be fun at parties. James, it's yeah. time for uh, another score update. 
Is it? Okay. Yeah. Uh, gr- uh, right now, John has um, taken an aggressive <laughs> p- position. <laughs> Negative 1,300, right? <laughs> Sitting strongly at a minus 1,300. Neil yeah. has taken a more conservative plus 300. Greg has somehow managed to eke together a score of uh, 1,300. So if John and, Gre- uh, John and Greg combined their score, we'd be at zero. But unfortunately, that's not the rule of the game. <laughs> okay. Um, Greg? Yes. Um, control. Let's go back to the whoop whoop. <laughs> for how much? Uh, for 600, please. Conservative. I like that. The name of the one psychic move naturally learnable by the best Pokemon whooper. Going once. Going twice. What is amnesia? Continue to control the board. <laughs> All appropriate. That's beautifully delivered as well. Uh, let's uh, have a censorship for a thousand. Okay. This SNES game saw a character become fully clothed in a dream sequence in its Western release. Going once. Me. Going twice. What is Earthbound? Uh, Oh, oh, yeah. I knew it was an RPG, but I just couldn't think of which one it was. Uh, continue control is yours, Greg. We have um, two whoop whoops and a third yes. party. Let's go back to the whoop whoop. For 800, please. Okay. The animal that the best Pokemon whooper is based on. This one doesn't even require it. John. Seal. To fucking Jesus! I need it in the form of a question. <laughs> what is a seal? <laughs> You're wrong for 800. Yes! <laughs> Have you ever seen a seal, John? <laughs> I'm pretty sure seal was based on a seal, right? <laughs> it's apocryphal. Yes, yes there's correct. literally a Pokemon called Seal, S E E L. No, seal is based on the R&B performer, please. Does anyone else want to buzz in? This one doesn't even require you to know goddamn Pokemon. You just need to know what a goddamn Wooper looks like. Uh, fuck Wooper. <laughs> fuck you. The correct answer is, what is an axolotl? <laughs> like, okay, and a seal is so much more ridiculous an answer than that. Oh, All right. God. All All right. right. What the party. fuck? Right. I'm in pain. I'm sorry, did you, which did you say, Greg? Third party for a thousand before we go journey back to the whoop whoop. Okay. The Wii game with the lowest Metacritic score. Oh, oh for fuck's hell. sake. Well, that's that's tough, surely. There were so many. <laughs> Going there was, once. A lot of crap. There was a lot of crap. Bonus points. I'll give you double points if you also get the publisher. <laughs> Did you, I mean, did I've you got add an this answer, one after? But again, I've been incentivized. Not going to... once. Uh, going twice. What is 101 explosive mega mix by Atlas? Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I guess there's probably trash. a lot of cr- there's probably a lot of crap that didn't get four reviews. Yeah, but it, right. it needs it needed four uh four reviews and of At- Atlas got four reviews on this trash. But that submarine like gingerbread man and all that stuff. Yes, it's so, lower. It's like something like fourteen or something. Wow. Uh here yeah, is the final bad. category. Final question for Whoop Whoop for a thousand. The available hidden ability of the best Pokemon Whooper. Going once. Is it Whoop? Going twice. <laughs> what is unaware? Everyone in this game. Okay, now it's time yep. for some final Jeopardy. Can we get a score readout, please? Oh, I guess. Um, current, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Current score, John, is... um, He's here at uh, <laughs> minus 2,100. Yes. Um, Neil is in second who, cause he, he also adopted the, I'm no longer going to buzz in policy and is sitting at 300. Uh, Greg, who actually had justification for it is at 1300. <laughs> okay. So here's how we're going to handle final jeopardy. I'm going to read the clue and then I'm going to ask Greg, John and Neil to private message me on Skype with their bets based on the category. The category is put everything on switch. <laughs> the question will not be in a Jeopardy format, a traditional Jeopardy format. 
Um, do we have like? Can I go up to a thousand like Daily Double? Uh, yes, you can go up to a thousand if you have less than a thousand. Oh wait, doesn't that completely invalidate the entirety of the game when the current leader only has thirteen hundred? <laughs> I feel anyone's I feel like- game. Anyone's game. I have a I have a bet from Neil. I need one from Greg, and I need one from John. Oh, now you're asking me to operate, Scotty. Yes, I am. I'm sorry. I'm just going to draw Batman instead because I'm I'll just appreciating that the Discord, by the way, is nothing but whoopers and axolotls. Honestly, that was the best case scenario for that category. Also, <laughs> getting to hear you guys say whoop whoop a bunch. Whoop whoop. I did not know if that was going to be if because if, um, I know that Greg probably knows the least about my fandom of the Pokemon whooper. I was wondering if he thought it was going to be like an ICP category. Yeah, I should bring brain with you. I should be. I run with the jugglers. <laughs> Good lord. Yeah, Gre- Greg's big at the gathering. Okay. Uh, I have a. I have one from Greg. John, I need a... John I... sent it to me. Yeah. Uh, I'm what? trying to figure out how the hell to use Delusion! John, Skype works. How many to, years I'm have you been using even, Skype? Well, Skype changes every six months. Where the fuck? How the hell do I fucking private message? <laughs> Double click her name, John. <laughs> it's gotten dark. You're going to need to be able to use private messaging because you're going to have to private message me your final Jeopardy answers. Yeah, I know. I got it. I got okay. it. That you can't bet that much. <laughs> I have now what I don't let, know is let it bet whatever he wants. Let it fuck it. <laughs> what can, what can I down. bet? Tell me, tell me. Mario Polly. Mario Polly. Fine. We're gonna let you bet that. <laughs> <laughs> Just let me bet it. Jesus Christ, I'm a dying man. Okay. So all three of you are gonna have to in in private chat, you have one I've been minute. live tweeting the scoreboard, by the way. <laughs> Good. You have, I'm I'm going to put one minute on the clock. As soon as I pull up the question, we are we are going to do this. You're going to have to – actually, no, I'm going to give you two minutes because I just realized that one of you is on your phone and one of you is on a tablet. And so it's going to require a lot of type. So Somebody gave go. us $50 for this shit. Oh, yeah. Okay. So you cannot play the Jeopardy thinking music. That is extremely trademarked. <laughs> no. Sorry. Um. Two minutes on the clock. Here it is. Excluding Virtual Console, name 12 first-party Wii U releases not currently available for purchase or play on Nintendo Switch. Go. <laughs> 12. Why, why was it 12? That wasn't the number we talked about last night. I told you it was 12. It was a compromise last between I... the numbers we talked about. Can I, um, since I'm on my phone, can I abbreviate to... Yes, yes. Use acronyms, use abbreviations. I want full name plus the publishing date <laughs> for every region. John isn't answering anything. He's not typing. 12. 30, 30 <laughs> in. Are you just going to send the word 12, John? <laughs> I don't know. He hasn't started typing yet. Because I will seconds. nuclear hammer your score. <laughs> oh, don't worry. He, I'll just say it. He bet 10,000. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> 45 seconds in, everyone. <laughs> there are many more than 12. There are many more than 12. Oh, God. James and I looked at this last night. 12 was easy to come up with for us. One minute. Forty-five seconds remain. John has submitted one answer. Good. No, is it at least correct? Uh, you do not need what is John on this one. <laughs> it is correct. All right, I'm making sure I actually had twelve because was... thirty seconds left. I don't really need any more than that. That's the whole thing. No, you do actually. You need twelve. I'm asking for twelve. You gave me one, and you gave me a terrible one. <laughs> It's Devil's Third, isn't it? It is. is. (laughs) Fuck it. It Burn it all down. 
it is. We've talked about four of them through the course of this game, but you know, you just <laughs> buried four, your fucking three, face right in two, that shit. One. <laughs> Greg hits, please hit, hit send. Uh, I didn't got. get all my 12 in in time. Okay. For John, who bet 10,000 and said, Devil's Third, followed up by aggressively in all caps, what is? <laughs> uh, we're going to say well, my. Worth- okay. <laughs> for Greg, who bet 300. He bet Super Mario 3D World, Splatoon, Star Fox Zero, Nintendo Land, Mario Tennis Ultra Smash, Yoshi's Willy World, Devil's Third, and Tokyo Mirage Sessions, all yeah. of which were right. Um, yeah, that was the last few, unfortunately. But that's only eight. Yeah. So minus 300, sorry. Yeah. And then for Neil, who got in in a, in a minute, and he got in, he bet 1,000. And got Tokyo Mirage Sessions, Mario Maker, Splatoon. That is, if that's Super Luigi U or Dr. Luigi. Hold on. Greg, you're sure you're okay. I have Dr. No Luigi is a, real, is a real relic from the year of Luigi. That much is true. Um, we'll get back to that. Okay. Ninja, Nintendo Land, Ninja Gaiden 3, Sing Party, Game & Wario, Pikmin 3, 3D World... Wind Waker HD, Twilight Princess HD. Eleven of those are undoubtedly correct. Judge, where there are we on, on a combination of two different game names? It is Dr. Luigi for Wii U is the name of the game. That is not the name of the game. The, 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 game for, the for Luigi. Wii U is just on all the game the, the game details. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, so... Where are we at? James literally decides uh, the winner. Is if I, re- I refuse, PGU. I refuse to vote on this on account of this makes me sad. What's your choice? <sighs> um, I'll accept it. Okay. So Neil will get one thousand points. So what's our final total? <laughs> <laughs> uh, John. John. <laughs> I'm going to give you it, John. If you guess your score right, I'm going to give you a thousand points. Right now. Um, my score will be within within within, within 500. Uh, within it doesn't make a difference. So fuck it. No, I mean, my score will be uh, it'll be negative eleven thousand three hundred. You wish. Uh, oh, shit. Score... Is negative twelve thousand one hundred. Yeah. Yeah. Something yeah. Like that. No, I forgot. Uh, I forgot. I was actually, uh, actually, it was worse than what I thought. Actually, or yeah, better, yeah. depending on how you look at it. Two thousand one hundred, but then I gave you hundred points for your aggressive. What is? Because uh, <laughs> I was intimidated by it. But yeah, John. John's final score is minus twelve thousand one hundred, plus or minus five hundred if I give him those. Greg, okay, we need to hurry up a little bit. Greg in second is is at one thousand, and Neil has finished the game in the lead with thirteen hundred. Yeah. Congratulations. C- C2, you did end with positive points. Both got positive. Um, I'm surprised that no one put anything like uh, Super Smash Brothers on. No, that, although, was, that was one of the four. I didn't tell you. Yeah. <laughs> although, yeah, I, I kind of was frantically like, just whatever comes to mind. If you notice, I got to a certain point where it was just like, yeah. let's start from launch and go forward. James was, James had said, which one is going to forget to list 3D World? And the answer was All John. No, two of them got it. No, I know. Greg and Neil. Oh, I'm surprised none of you. Po- I was kind of hoping that someone was going to be very specific and be like, "Wii U panorama view, um, like Carnival." <laughs> <ball." laughs> I would have accepted that. Um, we street. Oh, the uh, was it Amiibo tap? The Nintendo's, Nintendo's greatest, greatest bits, bits or whatever. <laughs> yep, that would have been accepted. Uh, James insisted that the Netflix app would have been accepted. It, it, how would I have abbreviated that and still <laughs> made it comprehensible? <laughs> okay. Um, All right. It's time for us to wrap because we are mega late. Yes, we are late. Thank you, everyone, for participating. Thank you, everyone who watched. Um, I am ready Ow. to hand the reins off. I don't know how we're going to do this, but me either. I'm just going to keep stalling until I'm told that we're off the air. Thank you, everyone, for playing. That was fun.
Yeah, yeah it's just, having a good time. Uh, I would like to to be honest, I'm dis- it wasn't disappointed. It wasn't more like ritual humiliation now. That's ten thousand dollars I ever that's spent. That's what I was promised. <laughs> See, I, I, I was telling you guys this thing's gonna be easier than you think it is. Woo. Okay. Bye. Woo. Bye, Bye, everyone. Bye. I'll see everybody Bye. in an hour.